Can we make money with eBay dropshipping in just 24 hours? Now, if you guys are familiar with the Shopify dropshipping space here on YouTube, then you might have seen these 24 hour, 48 hour, or 72 hour Shopify dropshipping challenge videos. However, I haven't seen anyone try to do a 24 hour eBay dropshipping challenge video. And there could be a good reason for that because with Shopify dropshipping, you will most likely be using paid advertising such as Facebook ads or Instagram influencer shoutouts that guarantees you to get at least some results right away. Whereas with eBay dropshipping, you depend on organic search engine traffic. I mean, you can promote listings on eBay. I've never tried it before actually, but for the most part, you depend on the search engine optimization. And usually SEO is more of a long-term type of game when it comes to marketing. So in this video and over the course of the next 24 hours, we are going to list as many products as possible on eBay, dropshipping products, of course, and see if we can make any sales and see how much money we can make with eBay dropshipping in just 24 hours. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. For those of you that don't know me already, hello, my name is Meg and on my channel I make videos testing out different online business ideas as well as different side hustle ideas. Basically just non-traditional ways of making money. So if that's something that you're interested in, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops. And I mean, while you're at it, you might as well give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm because it helps out a lot more than you know. So guys, I know it's been a little minute since we've done any eBay dropshipping on the channel and I think I even said that I wasn't going to try eBay dropshipping again at all or make videos on it. And the reason that I said I wasn't going to do this again is because technically dropshipping on eBay is against eBay's terms of service, or at least dropshipping the way that we're going to do in this video. There's another type of dropshipping called wholesale dropshipping that is technically allowed, but we're not going to talk about that much in this video. Today, we're going to be doing a type of dropshipping called retail dropshipping. The way that this works is we are basically going to be finding products on larger retail stores such as Walmart, Home Depot, Lowe's, Target, even maybe Amazon. So we list products from those stores on our eBay store for a markup, basically just copying and pasting the title, product photos, and the description. And then when we make a sale on our store, we'll go back to that retailer, order the products, and have them ship it directly to our customer. So when we check out, we're putting our customer's information in, we're putting their address in and everything like that instead of our own. So that the original retailer ships it right to our customer and we never have to see or touch the product at all. So guys, again, I just wanna give you guys a warning that doing this is against eBay's terms of service. It's technically not allowed on eBay at all. And by doing this, I will be risking getting my account banned. And if you decide to try this out for yourself, you are also risking getting your account banned. So do this at your own discretion. But you guys, you know what they say, no risk, no Rari. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for the vlog. And hopefully my account doesn't get banned. I've done this before. Like I said, I've done this before. I have another video about it. I have a couple videos about it actually. Anyways, I mean, if I do get banned, I'm simply just probably going to create another eBay seller account. I think that's possible. I mean, I do have another PayPal account that I can link to another eBay account if I have to and just start all over. So yeah, I'm going to spend literally probably most of the rest of today listing dropshipping products on eBay. Now today, because I'm trying to see how much money we can make with this in such a short period of time, we're not going to do this all manually and we're going to be using a software called Zeek Analytics. Now I've never used a software for eBay dropshipping before. I've always done the product research all manually. But recently, Paul J. Lipsky, who is a pro eBay dropshipper, made a reaction video to my first eBay dropshipping video, and he recommended that I try the software to speed the whole process up. Yeah, the process can be tedious, which is uh, why after you learn it, uh, I do recommend you go with some sort of software that will help speed up the process. Uh, there's a software I really love called Zeek Analytics. It, it does the same thing, this same manual product research, which everyone should learn because that's like the core, that's the base of how you do product research. Um, but the software will help speed up that process and just make it a lot easier to do that. So I'm going to take his advice in this video and try it out for the very first time. I think this is the perfect opportunity to try out Zeek Analytics because of the fact that I'm trying to do this in 24 hours. I do wanna at least list probably like 20 to 24 products today. Okay guys, so without further ado, it is now 2.45 p.m. and we're gonna go get this started. It's a nice day outside, so I don't wanna sit here in the basement on my computer all day. So I'm gonna head upstairs 
and I'll take you guys with me, time lapse the entire process, and let's see how many products we can list the rest of today and hopefully get some dropshipping sales. Yo, what's up guys? So it is now the next day. It's not exactly 24 hours after I started this challenge because I had work today so I couldn't give you guys an update at exactly 3 p.m. today because I was at work. It's actually 9.39 p.m. right now. So it's been about 30 hours. I actually ended up only listing 11 items when I said I wanted to list as many as I possibly could. You know how the product research is even with Zeek Analytics, it's still a pretty tedious process and it's very time consuming. But with that being said, I'm going to share the results of this 24 hour eBay dropshipping challenge. I ended up not making any money within the 24 hour eBay dropshipping challenge. However, I do have some tea to spill. So this product here, the Oster Classic Series 5 Speed Blender, I had sold this product while I was at work. So I think this was during the 24 hour period. I think it was like right before the 20 24 hours would have been over and I ended up having to cancel it because the buyer was in Puerto Rico and it would have cost a lot of money to ship the item to Puerto Rico so I had to refund the buyer and just took that L. That's why it says one sold here. It's actually not sold because I ended up canceling that. Anyways guys I did end up making a sale recently like literally at 9 p.m. Like I said now it's 9 47 so technically I did make a sale and I did make money but it was after the 24 hour period. But anyways, I'm going to go in and fulfill this order. And I'm going to show you guys the process of how to fulfill these orders on Walmart's website since I do get asked about this a lot. I get asked this question on my other eBay dropshipping video quite a lot. So I think I might've done this before where I showed you guys how to do it, but I'm going to do it again. <laughs> the product that I sold is this 50 kilogram loading capacity uh, kayak trolley. Uh, I sold that for $67.99 and they paid me like $72, I think. So that's really sick. I didn't charge them shipping. It's free shipping. And actually on Walmart, it's also free shipping. So I received $65.58 after like the PayPal fees, I guess. And now I'm going to go ahead and fulfill this order on Walmart. So what I'm gonna do is I'm on the Walmart listing. As you can see, it's $46.98 right here. Okay, so I'm going to add to cart and check out. And now that I'm here where it says enter delivery address, I'm going to go back to the order details on eBay and I'm going to enter this customer's information. And because I have no way of finding out this customer's phone number. In the past, I just put my own phone number and I hope that's <laughs> the right thing to do because the phone number is mandatory. Hopefully my customer doesn't get to see my phone number. I don't, I honestly don't know. I just send it. You guys know I just send it. Okay, so I usually pay with my Walmart credit card. However, I'm just going to pay with PayPal so that it comes right out of my PayPal right away. I am paying $46.98. Now I'm going to do the calculations to see how much money I ended up making from this challenge, even though it technically is after the 24 hour period. The buyer sent me $65.58 and I just paid $46.98. So $65.58 minus $46.98. I made a profit of $18.60 from doing this 24 hour eBay dropshipping challenge, even though it's been more than 24 hours, I still consider that pretty good, pretty successful. The purpose of this challenge was just to show you guys how long the process of like starting eBay dropshipping takes because when I first started listing dropshipping items on my eBay store, I would always like list them. And then after they didn't sell after a few days, I would go in and delete them. And I mean, that's a really good profit margin too. All of my other eBay dropshipping products that I've sold have not been that profitable. Literally, it's usually like a $4. $5 profit. I think some one time I even like broke even. But yeah, I hope you guys got some value out of this video. I hope you guys got an insight into how long it actually takes to start eBay dropshipping. Some of these 
other products that I listed yesterday might sell tomorrow. Might not sell for like a few months, who knows, if I keep them up on my eBay store. Anyways guys, that's a wrap on this 24 hour eBay dropshipping challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so that you're notified when the next video drops and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.